I made a game using ChatGPT and it's very interesting. So unless you live under a rock, you've probably heard of ChatGPT, a new AI chatbot tool that has swept nations across the world. Essentially, this AI can answer any question you throw at it. You can use it for recipes, essay writing, and even programming. Basically, this thing is just kind of crazy. But what would an AI made game look like? Can this chatbot actually code efficiently? Will AI replace us? Am I handsome? Let's just say the results of this experiment are shocking. First up, I'm gonna lay some ground rules. Rule number one, I'm only going to use code that ChatGPT makes for me. So no coding from me other than maybe some minor tweaks. Rule number two, I'm only gonna do this in two hours because I'm pretty busy with exams right now. And this game is gonna be more of an experiment than an actual full on game. So with those rules being set, let's get cooking. So I'm gonna start with a pretty simple game idea here because I don't really know how complex the AI code can go. So I'm going to do a 2D platformer. So in this case, the bot only really has to worry about a couple mechanics such as movement and score, etc. So I open Unity and I set up the scene. Unfortunately, I have to do this part because uh, I don't think ChatGPT is intelligent enough to do this. After I put in two squares representing the player and the floor, I then ask ChatGPT to code me a basic movement script for the player, which I definitely am not used to. But here we are in the name of science. Yeah, science. And the results are crazy because it just pumped out code that is fully commented and even has a description at the bottom explaining exactly how it works. Wow. I copy this code and paste it into my player controller script and now I have full AI movement in the game, which works actually for the most part. With my testing, I found that you could jump like infinitely. Normally I could fix this easily, but can chat GPT fix its own code? I don't know, but let's find out. I don't know why, but I kind of expected it to fail there. So let's just push this further and add a new mechanic to this game to see how ChatGPT takes this change. And what else does a platforming game need? Yeah, that's right. Death. You can't have a game without dying. Hey, ChatGPT, can you make it so the player can die and respawn? And as expected, this code is working flawlessly. Now the game is already one small step towards becoming the next Super Mario, but this all seems a bit, I don't know, t too easy? Anyone can program a simple movement script. I mean, come on guys, but not everyone can make a complex mechanic. Hey yo, ChatGPT, make me a wall jumping mechanic. Please, with this single sentence, I have broken ChatGPT because the wall jumping is so bad. It just, it, it's just terrible. Like it just does not work properly. I mean, bro, bro, look at this. I tried fixing it by analyzing the code like a forensic Scientologist, identifying issues and spoon feeding those issues to the AI to see if that would fix things. But for every step forward it took, it took two steps back. It appears ChatGPT remains inferior to my vast intelligence, and it looks like I'm gonna have to remove this mechanic from my game. But I've, I've still gotta add some kind of movement mechanic, something simple at least and easy for this puny AI to code. So I asked it to make me a double jump mechanic and it did. Thank you ChatGPT, I appreciate it. Finally, the core game movement is complete. The player can move, jump and double jump. But for me to qualify this as a working game, it's gotta have some kind of objective and a menu screen to make it look pretty, of course. So I proceed to ask ChatGPT to make me a coin system with a score on the UI counting up when the player picks up a coin. And without fail, ChatGPT got these systems to work flawlessly. Well, sorta. It kind of fumbled on the menu script, but with a little bit of my own tweaking, it all works together well. And finally, time is up and the game is finished. Final thoughts. Overall, ChatGPT is a surprisingly good tool for programming games, but it still lacks some of the complexity and overall humanity when it does code something. Like the movement of the game, it kind of feels really stiff and not really that fun, despite it being functionally good code. So maybe if you're going to use this, use it more as a reference or a base for your own code. It is kind of scary though, I'm not gonna lie. If AI can do this much already, just imagine what it can make in five to 10 years. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.